Hey guys, this is Balu from Balu Prime and once again welcome you all back for an exciting tutorial. In this tutorial, let's see how we can create this soft body simulation videos in Blender. So I hope you will find this tutorial useful but before going to that if you end up liking this video please click on that like button to share this content and if you are new to this channel consider subscribing my channel and support me. So further without any ado let's begin. So here you can see I am using Blender 2.83 version this is an open source. If you want to download I will leave a link in the description you can download it from there. So whenever you open Blender this is the starting interface we are going to see with a cube. So if you want to select all the objects or everything in the scene press a on the keyboard so that everything will be selected here you can see light and camera is also selected along with the object so if you want to select a particular object just click on that you can select it manually so here i am selecting this cube if you want to delete certain objects here select that object and press x and delete nice so if you want to add the objects again you can press shift a here you can add these objects or else you can go to this add mesh so here i will be using a cube here so click on the cube so if you want to navigate here you can use middle mouse to navigate like this and press g on the keyboard to grab it and you can move it here or if you want to move it along an axis press g and x to move it in x axis y to move it in y axis z to move it to move it in z axis nice let me escape it now if you want to scale this object press s and you can scale it here now again if you want to scale it up in certain axis press x to scale it in x axis y to scale it in y axis z to scale it in z axis nice so if you want to rotate this object press R and you can rotate it here or else you can use the options here like grab rotate from this menu also nice. So let me place this object here a bit at a certain height nice now let me rotate it so let me rotate it here. So now let's convert this cube into soft body for that click on this physics properties select your object and click on soft body so as soon as you play you can see this will be not falling down here because we need to uncheck this goal option so come to this first frame uncheck this goal and now if you play we can see that our cube is falling down in universe nice. now let's create an obstacle or colliding particle here so for that again go to this add mesh create a plane now press s and scale it up so let me scale it up here being selected this plane object click on this collision come to this physical properties and click on collision so now if we play we can see our cube will be colliding with this surface it is not looking nice here so let's add some subdivisions to this object cube so select this cube press tab on keyboard to enter into edit mode right click subdivide right click subdivide right click subdivide nice again click on tab to exit this edit mode now if we play this we can see this is completely getting squash here nice now let's play with some properties of this cube so here you can see edges it is enabled just expand it now let's change this property value so i will be changing this pull to 0.7 push to 0.7 damp i will be leaving to zero bending to nine or else let it be seven sorry let it be seven and let us enable this stiffness also now click on this cache now let's bake this animation so click on this bake all dynamics 
so it takes some time to break this animation so here you can see this is looking much better now nice now click on this modifier properties add modifier and add subdivision surface nice now again right click let us smooth it out so select shade smooth so we get this smooth edges here okay now let's add some materials to this but before to that let me see how it looks in rendering so light is here so let me place it here at the top let it be here like this or else let us do one thing select this light properties change it to sun and sun strength let me change to 10 or else let me change to 5 okay this will be good now let's add some materials onto this object and plane so let me go to this shading portion select this object click on this material click on this new button so let it be principal shader now change the roughness to zero transmission increase this transmission to one and base color let me change this to gray so here i want this cube to be look like jelly so i will be use this green color so let me go to this viewport so this is not looking that much good because it is in ev render let me show you this is in ev render if we change it to cycles it will be way better but it takes much time to render so once i apply all the materials to this plane and i will apply some environment texture also later we can change this ev to cycles and we can see how it looks there so for this cube it is okay now let me select this plane now come to this material add new material let me change the diffuse and let me change this color to somewhat like like this okay now click on this world properties click on this color option here select this environment texture and let me select an hdri image so here i got few hdri images so let me select in trends how it looks okay this is looking better let it be here like this fine so now let us play this once again okay. this is looking better here okay. now let's set our camera viewing angle for render so if you press ctrl alt 0 we can switch through the camera so ctrl alt 0 come to these options come to this view options and click on this lock camera to view so now we can adjust it here only so let me place it here like this okay so then let me see once again okay now let's change this rendering engine here so click on this render properties now here you can see this is set to ev which which is a rendering engine this renders everything fast but when compared to cycles this won't be that much good to look look wise so let me change this to cycles so suddenly you can see this drastic change in the appearance of our jelly material so if your device have GPU you can select it here so the rendering takes place with the GPU or else you can leave it to CPU only. So I will be using this GPU come to this render properties output properties select your output folder here uncheck this overwrite frame rate you can set here either you want 24 30 or 60 whatever you like make sure that 
our frames are set here starting from end, end frame so here i don't want to render 200 frames i want to render only 150 frames so change this to 150 okay you can see this is changed to 150 now in file format select png so nice rest and all everything is good here you can change the resolution if you want to render in full hd so before going to render this in i forgot to say about a feature which is available in new version of blender so come to this view layer properties click on that scroll down so here you can see this denoising option so simply enable it and render by enabling this we won't find noise in our rendered output if we won't enable this we might get some noise in the output files so now let's start this rendering for that go to this render options and click on this render animation so here you can see our rendering is started so it takes time depending upon the number of frames and the quality objects used number of objects used everything so i'll be leaving this here let's see this after the rendering is done so i hope you guys have learned something new from this tutor if you have learned anything new please like share and subscribe my channel and support me so we will meet in the next video until then signing off take care bye